<clears throat> so here's some very quick ways to break down an account in order to find that, um, maybe that missing piece. All right, so um, again, likely what's gonna be happening in the case that we're reviewing an account and a client is bringing an account to us to audit, um, the likely scenario is that there's something going on with their business that they're not happy about. And they're pulling at all the straws, trying to find where um, where the issue is and what lever can they pull to fix it. <clears throat> so here's some very quick ways to break down an account in order to find that um, maybe that missing piece or what's being pulled wrong. Um, so typically what I start with when I review an account is the overall audience breakdown. And what I mean by that is where is the highest percent of the spend being allocated on an account? And typically, more often than not nowadays, when a client comes to us with an issue that's more or less a business level issue, not so much an account issue, um, we're finding that whoever's managing the account is typically spending, only spending 20 to 40% of the budget on top of funnel even less than that in some cases, which essentially means that you're retargeting the same individuals over and over again, and you're not um, bringing in those new eyeballs to the brand. And as we've talked about ad nauseum over the last few months, that this is essentially how to kill a brand, is to stop driving new customers. Um, we've seen it firsthand with a number of businesses now over the last little while. So the first thing I look at is, is um, is your top of funnel, if your top of funnel is not receiving 60 to 80% of the budget, whoever is managing the account is likely just looking at in-app metrics, meaning ROAS, in-app sales, um, and kind of those other vanity metrics there that are probably looking good. And they're able to share that with the client and say, no, no, it's not us. It's got to be somebody else. Point the finger elsewhere. When really, it actually is the platform because you don't need to be spending 60 to 80 percent of your budget on returning customers or re-engaging customers those people are likely going to convert through other channels that are going to cost less um, and one way that you can kind of back this up to clients who might be a little bit skeptical of this of this being an issue because they're likely seeing a really high on platform ROAS is to look at a frequency. And I have a good example of that here, which is this client that we onboarded a month or two ago. Um, so let's just look at even Q1 when we weren't managing their account we look at their frequency, their previous agency was only managing or was primarily setting this account up as a retargeting funnel. And you can see here the campaigns that were live at that current time, active ads, they had almost an 11 frequency on the account at that time. And you can see that's basically just split between some re-engagement campaigns. So, what was happening is they weren't driving new customers. They were having an inherent business issue, receiving less and less sales month over month, came to us and we realized that their top funnel was just stagnant. Um, and since then, it's been a very slow movement of kind of redistribution of account budget. But in that time frame we've been able to lower it slightly. And at the beginning of the month, we were still fighting with some of these really high numbers. And in the last week, we finally turned it around. So you can see it's a pretty significant issue that needs to be corrected over a, an extended period of time. When a client comes to us with a, an account in, for lack of a better term, a pretty poor position. Um, so we've just finally got our frequency to a fairly reasonable number. And it took about three months for us to get there. And that's doing that without tanking the client's revenue in the meantime. 
So that's just a good way to back up your point that why are we spending all this money on retargeting audiences when our frequencies are up into the tens, elevens, I've even seen them into the twenties in some cases where just using your, using basic thought process there, why would you spend money showcasing the same creative, likely or a batch of creatives 20 different times to the same individual? It doesn't really make sense logically. Um, and usually a business owner can kind of get down with that thought process. The second thing I look at is account objectives or campaign objectives. We always recommend optimizing for sales or leads, depending if they're e-com or if they're lead gen. Um, outside of that, you know, there's awareness, traffic, engagement. There's a time and place for those, but it would just lead me to ask the question, why? And if the client has a great reason for it, that's perfect. And we can lean into that further. But I would say 99% of the time, clients are grasping at straws when they're trying to run a traffic campaign, for example. And you're going to see some pretty poor sales metrics, but you might be getting some really good vanity metrics in that case. So that would just be another thing to look at. It, it takes you two seconds to open up the different campaigns and understand, are they running quality audio? Are they running to qualify an audience or not um, at a sales or leads level at least? So now that we've done that basic overview, now it's time to look at the actual account <clears throat> metrics and understand, um, try and find whatever the problem the client is coming to us with. And I think at this point, once you've reviewed these two steps, you've either understood whether the account budget allocation is set up poorly or if their campaign objectives are set up poorly. By the time we reach this step, now we likely know that there's an, an account issue that we're trying to solve. And before we can solve it, obviously we need to find the problem. So that's this next step. Now I set my time frame to the last 90 days. You can go quarterly if you want to, or even, you know, we're kind of halfway through the year. If you wanted to set it year to date, you could, but the last 120 to 90 days is going to be the most important time frame to look at because you're going to see obviously the most recent changes, but also with these platforms extending beyond four months, there could be some changes that happened that we're not necessarily aware of, like the implementation of ASC, for example. Um, if you would have looked at an account when that took place, Advantage Plus wasn't around six months ago. In the meantime, it's been implemented and it threw everything out of whack for a couple months. So just a good a good baseline to set your set your time frame about 90 days. Now coming into this, we're noticing that sales or, or or leads are low. How do we solve the problem? The first thing I look to is basic vanity metrics. So CTR, click through rate, is it above a one? That's kind of if I'm going to give a general rule of thumb, above a one is healthy. Um, below a one is you're getting into the territory of struggling. Same with CPM, $15 CPM is that line. Under it is um, healthy, over it is a little bit too much. And CPC, is it above $2? Now cost per click, if you're reaching that $2 mark, um, there's some problems that you're likely receiving. And what um, generally across the board between these three metrics, I would say if you've answered, if, if three of these or two out of the three of these are issues, then you can start to look deeper into the hook and the creative. And what this would mean is that our, the offer that's receiving the majority of the spend is not resonating with that particular audience. Um, and there's many different ways and that kind of opens up a whole different can of worms of understanding how often they're testing, what types of offers they're offering to the clients at the current time, how many creatives are they running, how long have the creatives been running. So you can get into this rabbit hole beyond this, but this is a general rule of thumb to understand whether 
this is a hook or creative issue or if you need to look beyond this. And one good way that you can understand if the ads that are do being most productive or receiving the most amount of money is to open up your ad account, migrate over to the ads tab and select, scroll over here, select your, where is it? Amount spent column and just filter it so that you're in a descending order. And now you're able to see if what's receiving the most amount of spend is performing at the highest level. And likely, if there's an, an account issue, you're going to be seeing the highest number of spend performing pretty poorly. And you can make some immediate cuts from there. Let's say that this ad here had been spending, had spent $425, but it was operating at a 0.8 ROAS, for example. Well, that's obvious that it's receiving the most amount of money, but it's performing the worst. So you'd cut that. So there's a very simple way that you can understand if what's receiving the most amount of money is performing the way it should be. About 11 months ago, that's when I posted, I'm like, why well, I'm moving almost all my clients off Pmax. Um, and then it's funny, it's like then like nine months ago, um, that's what I was like, it's what we showed up Pmax, which is standard shopping. That was nine months. I mean, almost on the same timeline as you were like, hey, this thing's starting to become less valuable it's the same thing that i saw 